So of course it would make sense that I decide to wear my most vampy lipstick the day after Halloween. Why do I do this? Why am I always late to the party? I don't know. This is just how my brain works. It is what it is. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Divya. If you're not new here, welcome back. So you're probably wondering, Divya, what happened to you? What, where have you been? Where, why haven't you put out videos like you usually do? So my mental health took a tanking these past two weeks. I was just very unmotivated and very sad. And so I was a way to deal with that. And so now I've dealt with it. You know, I'm in a better mental health space now. And I'm very much more interested and motivated to make more videos and to read more. So yes, I, I'm glad I took this time away. So yes. So today I'm going to be talking about my November TBR. Hopefully this month I actually have a wrap up for you guys because it is ridiculous how many TBRs I set and read none of them. <laughs> so yes, I'm participating in three readathons this month. Why is she always participating in readathons that she never finishes? I don't know. Is it going to stop her? No. <laughs> so the first readathon is the Thousand Doors readathon, which is basically a choose your own adventure type of readathon. And it's so interesting to me the concept of it because it is a choose interactive choose your own tbr adventure type of thing so i don't have a tbr for it yet and because you're in, you can't really curate a tbr for this it's like you go along you read the book and then you choose your own adventure type of thing so I, but i'm very excited for it readathons that are interesting concepts like this really grabs my attention i love interactive readathons so yes so the next readathon is the clear your shit readathon which is hosted by my and L and this is basically a readathon to clear all your currently owned books before going into the next year so I, I really 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 need this readathon because I really want to clear all my physical most of my physical TBR that I already have on hand um, my own books uh, so that I can go into the next year with like a fresh new perspective is that the word i'm looking for i'm not sure so yeah i just want to you know read as much as i can and try to like if i like a book i'll keep it if i don't like it or if i'm impartial to it or know that i'm not going to reread it to give it away you know or to sell it off so that i can have make more room for the new releases that are coming out next year so there are prompts there are i think 24 prompts i'm not sure there's a lot of prompts but i'm not doing all of them because i know myself i know myself i know that i'm not going to be able to tick off all the prompts so i'm taking off like so i chose the prompts that i'm more likely to do so yes let's get into the prompts divya stop talking okay <laughs> so the first prompt is found family and this one is i chose the gilded rose by rusani chakshi uh I know, I know, I know. I know I'm supposed to <laughs> read this for so long, but I keep going into reading slumps. And but this month, this month, I'm making it a promise to myself that I'm going to read this book. So this is basically like a heist type of book, but it's like there's a lot of commentary also, if I'm not mistaken, in this book. And I read a few pages, and I really, really like it so far. So I'm very excited to continue with this world and continue with these characters that I love very dearly Severin is eh, but everybody else I really truly love so yes so the next book is Witch and Animal in the cover and for this I chose The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen I don't know what this book is about basically but I know it follows three points of view and I'm very excited to get into this book and also floppy paperback I love my floppy paperbacks so much and I'm very excited to get I like the font of the book I, the font for me is not important but I feel like it enhances the reading experience because sometimes the looking at a font is so calming sometimes if it's the right font for you and it just like makes your reading experience better 
sorry for that motorcycle noise i'm so sorry so yes the merciful crow can wait can wait so the next book is intimidating book and for this <laughs> The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. I am not ready. Look at at the back. It says, "The war is over. The war has just begun." <laughs> this book's gonna kill me. I'm going to. Rest I I want to read this before the Burning God comes out, and but I'm just so scared to read this book. I'm so, 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 so scared. So yes, I I need to get to this book, but it intimidates the heck out of me. So yes, need to get to this book. So the next prompt is a scary book. So for this, I chose When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is very much a thriller about gentrification of neighborhoods and I'm very excited to read this because I've heard nothing but great things from everybody who's read it so I'm just like mm. and I know spooky month is over but you never you never it's never a bad moment for a good thriller Ay. so the next prompt is free choice and for this I chose Cinderella is dead by K then Baron Baron sorry uh, so this is basically like a Cinderella retelling type of situation but like at the back it says it's 200 years since Cinderella found her prince but the fairy tale is over so I also don't really know much about what's in this book but I know that there is a sapphic relationship in this book so i'm very excited for that so i also cannot wait to get to this book but i heard mixed reviews about this like some people like it some people don't but i feel that i'm going to like it so i'm very excited for it so the next prompt is fantasy and for this i chose we hunt the flame by hafsa faisal the sequel is coming out in january if i'm not mistaken so i really 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 stunning cover by the way stunning cover so i really really want to get to this before that sequel comes out so i can buy the sequel <laughs> my mom's probably watching this video thinking thinking damn girl you got lots of books why are you planning what books you're gonna buy and read the ones that you already have and she's not wrong but like is that gonna stop me <laughs> no <laughs> so yes we had the flame the next prompt is a book with a pretty cover and for this i chose spin the dawn by elizabeth lim and look at that cover it's so stunning like this is actual artwork like the artist actually like drew this of course an artist drew it i'm so dumb what i'm trying to say is this is a like a traditional media type of uh, type of drawing so i'm very so it's so stunning and i i've read a few pages before i went into a reading slum not because of this book but just in general life throws you into a reading slum so i read this book a few pages and i really really like it so far so this is basically like a mulan type of situation but it has like a seamstress and sewing and stuff like that and it like honestly the cover looks so gorgeous so i'm so excited for it to get back into this world so the next prompt is a book with blue or water themes on the cover and for this i chose the bone season by samantha shannon i really really want to get into this book because i think the next like the next book in the series is coming out very soon next year if i'm not mistaken so i really want to get into this book so i will know whether i like it or not so you know i can read the second book because i have the second book so let's see whether i like this series or not so i don't really know much about this series as well so i am just going into this without knowing and hopefully it takes my breath away so the next prompt is a book with a map and for this i chose lobizona by romina garber and, for, and the book, I have it physically. It's beside my bed. I'm too lazy to take it, to be honest. So it's, I'm re I've am i read a few pages. I think I've read like 80 pages already. And I'm very excited. I'm really liking the story so far. So I cannot wait to continue the story and really get more into it. And I cannot wait for the sequel that's coming out next year. There are a lot of sequels coming out next year. And 
a lot of like great books coming out next year. I am very very intimidated by that. <laughs> so yes, that is my the books that I'm going to be reading for Clear Your Shit Readathon. If it's a two month reading readathon, so I might like for my December I might pick up like more books based on the prompts who knows but for now these are the books that i'm wanting to focus on so yes so the next readathon that i'm going to be participating in is the indigiton which is a readathon hosted by Brody and michelle i'll be leaving all the links of the people i've mentioned in this video down below and the readathons if you want to check them out so the so i'm so there is a bingo bot and who doesn't love a good bingo bot so i have already found like a bingo for the middle and so which are new to you free space and the group book and so let us get into the books that i'm going to be reading so the first book that i'm going to be reading is for the prompt new to you so i'm going to be reading winter accounts by david heska wembley waden and this is basically like a thriller book set in an American reservation and I'm very very you, I'm sorry if you can see the light shining in my glasses and I'm very excited to read this book because like I said there's never a bad time for a thriller and if it's good I'm going to definitely recommend it to my mom who loves thrillers so I have it on Scrib all, all these books I have on Scrib I, so like if you want to participate in this readathon and read the books that i'm going to be reading all of these are available on script the next prompt is free space and for this i am going to be reading the only good indians by stephan graham jones and so this is also like uh this is basically a horror novel and i've been wanting to get to it for the longest time but i i keep falling into reading slumps every month i don't know but i really want to have a read it because i have the audiobook so i want to read all of stefan graham jones books because a lot of them are available on scripts so i really want to get to all of those books but the the one that i'm prioritizing is the only good indians and the last one is the group book which is heartbeat Braves by Pamela Sanderson. This is basically a romance story which is very interesting to me because like I really thought about it and I realized that you don't come across a lot of romance books especially indigenous romance books like featuring indigenous people. So I cannot wait to read it and like love it. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it because I just know sometimes you just know a book you're gonna love it. And so those are my reads for the month of November. Of course, if I finish these reads, I'm going to pick up other books, but I'm not sure. But these are my priority reads. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my comeback. And like, thank you so much. Uh, if you watched until this point, comment uh, yellow heart or something so thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content you know there are other videos on my channel that you can definitely dive into and if you like my content please subscribe to me if you want to i'm not forcing you so if you want to subscribe that's really okay too so yes thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon bye